And I hope the American people are witnessing this moment in the United States Senate. We are about to make history here. We're going to make history here in just a few minutes when we have a roll call vote on U.S. Magistrate Judge Robert Bacharach to the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. This fine man who has been nominated to this high position in the federal judiciary has the support of both of the senators of his home state. They are both Republicans. Listen to what Senator Tom Coburn said of Mr. Bacharach, Magistrate Bacharach, a stellar candidate. Listen to what Senator Inhofe said about the same nominee from his state, a great guy. I listened to these comments and then I reflect on the fact this man was reported out of the Senate Judiciary Committee on a voice vote. If the Republicans sustain this filibuster and stop this good man from his service on the circuit court, it will be the first time in the history of the United States Senate that an appeals court nominee with bipartisan committee support has ever, ever been filibustered on the floor of the Senate. But how can we be surprised? This will be the 86th Republican filibuster. It is said that if the only tool you own is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. If you happen to be a Republican leader in the Senate, every day looks like another chance for a filibuster. If you wonder if you're looking for evidence of a dysfunctional Senate, hold on tight. In just a few moments, we'll start a roll call. And you'll watch as Republican after Republican comes and votes to kill this man's nomination for the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. President Obama will be the first president in 20 years to complete his first term with more judicial vacancies than when he took office. They have dragged their feet every step of the way with filibusters and delays to stop this president from appointing the judges he was elected to appoint. And good people, good people like U.S. Magistrate Judge Robert Bacharach, who submit their names in this process, who go through extensive background investigations, who put their lives on hold wondering, just wondering if they are going to make it, end up get caught in a political game that's being played here on the floor.